another motherfucking video. Cassette collection number fucking three. Now this fucking box, it's all fucking hardcore punk shit. So again, when I was young, man, I liked all that shit. I liked fucking thrash metal, death metal, fucking hardcore punk. I know some motherfuckers are going, I don't like punk, man. I just like fucking metal. I don't give a fuck, because I liked all that shit. I still do. I don't worry about saying, oh, I just listen to black metal. I don't listen. Man, you know, fuck that bullshit. I will listen to it all. But yeah, this uh, collection this is the bin with all fucking hardcore shit. Agnostic Front, Negative Approach, shit like that. It's funny looking at these fucking cassettes. It just brings back memories, man. I remember being on the bus, man, back 1987 or some shit. You know, the school bus, this and the earphones and cassettes and shit. I remember, uh, actually, this was in 1984. Now this story, thinking about it. I remember this fucking fat slob sitting behind me in the bus. He was listening to Van Halen, 1984. He thought that shit was so badass. I was like, man, that's fucking garbage. And this is fucked up. I remember, I said, hey, let me see that. Let me listen to it. And I act like I was going to listen to it. I pulled the tape out of the, the, the deck and just pulled that fucking tape all out and just threw it back at him. That motherfucker started screaming and freaking out. And this was back during Christmas. This is some sorry ass shit. Yeah, I'm not a nice guy. Uh, it's okay. So fuck it. I don't care. This happened during Christmas. And he was screaming. I was about to knock the shit out of the fucking cocksucker. And then, it's funny, a friend of mine was behind him. If you know... And Christmas, they sell those big, thick-ass candy canes. It's like, a, it's like this fucking thick. Man, just stick it up to my <laughs> But I don't know who the fuck would eat that shit. I hate fucking peppermint, but my friend had one of those, and they're hard as fuck. And that kid, that fat slob was screwing. My friend behind him swung down and broke that shit over his head, and that guy started screaming. <laughs> and the fucking bus driver got pissed off, stopped the bus, man, and... Just turned the whole fucking school bus back. We went back to the fucking campus. We got in trouble and almost got in, in trouble for assault. But back then, the 80s wasn't a bunch of fucking pussies like it is now. Everybody gets fucking in trouble for anything. Anyway, fuck that shit. Let's take, take a look at some fucking hardcore. All right, on to another fucking box here. As I mentioned, this is more fucking hardcore punk and shit. Not so much metal in here. Um, so let's go on ahead. Uh, shit, this here. The fixtures. I don't even remember where the fuck they're from. It's pretty good uh, punk rock. I have a seven inch by them as well somewhere. Pretty good shit. Do I remember what it sounds like? Fuck no, I haven't heard it in years. Classic Fear. This one's kind of sh. Nah, it's kind of shitty. This is a good ass live album right here though. Pretty cool stuff. Nice inlay. Pretty good shit. I mean, for a live album, I like it. Of course, the uh, best is Fear of the Record. I have that on uh, vinyl. DRI, Classic Thrash. These two, especially. Especially fucking good. But I still like uh, Thrash Zone and you have Crossover and later stuff, Full Speed Ahead and whatever. But good stuff. I've seen DRI many a times and every time was fucking good. I remember I saw them with uh, Testament one time. I saw them by themselves. I couldn't even tell you how many how many times I've seen them. It's been a fucking lot. Uh, Ratos Deep Rail from Brazil. Really good fucking fast hardcore. Really good stuff. They uh, are known for their uh, infamous backstage brawl with the uh, sarcophago, which is pretty fucking comical. Good stuff. Anybody remember Elvis Hitler? Pretty good, man. It's got a little mixture of punk and some psychobilly mixed in there. I actually could have seen these motherfuckers. This was probably 94 or 93. They played with the dwarves, and I don't know why in the fuck I didn't go to that show. I re really wish that I did. Pretty fucking good shit. Pretty hilarious. I mean, this is not this is not a fucking political album at all. But it's just funny how back then sense of humor was a lot different than these fucking pussy ass motherfuckers now. Also, a side note: 
This, um, a lot of these songs on this album are on the soundtrack for this cheap ass fucking movie called Skinhead Second Coming of Hate. You ever seen that? You need to see it. It's fucking hilarious. It's cheap shit. People driving around with a fucking van with a backwards swastika drawn on it. <laughs> fucking stupid ass shit. Uh, Sick of It All. I'm a big fan of Sick of It All, especially the uh, early stuff. But uh, this one is pretty fucking good, too. This one's all right. They're still playing to this day. But, uh, yeah, I've seen these band, them a lot of times, too. Um, but really classic fucking hardcore. Lots of uh, fist fights at these shows. Fucking agnostic front. Back when they, I mean, they're still around, they're still putting okay albums out, but this was the classic shit right here when it was gritty, hard, and this is the uh, censored version of Victim in Pain. Badass and shit in there. Uh, this is the 1986, what does it say? Yeah, 86 Relativity. Relativity Records version. I do have the original, the Rat Cage vinyl, which has the original artwork, which that's all you need. Great live ass album. I said this t-shirt is to wear it proudly at high school. Cool stuff. Still got the original order form. Yeah, this is one of the best fucking live albums of all time, if you ask me. <laughs> This one here in the uh, Napalm Death, Live Corruption are my two go-to live albums. Good shit here, fast as fuck. Where they first c covered Iron Cross is Crucified on here. You son of a bitch! And then uh, this one here was their little kind of a comeback album. Roger Mary was in uh, prison. This came out in 1992. And this was a good ass fucking comeback, man. Good heavy album. Very good shit. Capitalist Casualties, fucking grindy, hardcore, fast shit, slapping them records. If you don't know it, go check it out. More New York City hardcore. Great. These two albums, Gorilla Biscuits, he went on to do a solo project, Civ, which is, Civ, which is okay, but uh, these two, top-notch shit. Fucking Beastie Boys, Cookie Puss, I don't know, bought that for some random reason. Fucking Dwarves. Of course, this is the best one here. I mean, with a cover like that, why would you not buy that? Really good shit. Classic songs on there. Backseat of my car, and that's Funk, Drugstore, Fuckhead, Motherfucker, Let's Fuck. Sounds like some pretty good shit to me, but... Yeah, this is a, a good, good fucking album. These other ones, uh, Thank God for Little Girls is pretty good. Sub Pop Records, Sugar F Fix is okay, but hell. Blood, Guts, and Pussy is their best. Screeching Weasel, really good fucking poppy punk but still had a gritty edge. They're still around, I'm, I've lost interest in them, but these two, uh, My Brain Hurts and some of the other early stuff, so fucking good. I actually saw them on this tour for this album, Wiggle. What fucking year was that? Probably 92, I think. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is a good, good album. They do a really cool cover of uh, Teenage Heads, uh, Ain't Got No Sense, which was on the uh, soundtrack for Class of 1984. You see that movie, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Fugazi, Repeater. This one's good. I like the other one, the one before this better. 
of course, you know Ann McKay from uh, Minor Thread, em- Embrace, uh, Screwball, a bunch of other shit from DC area Discord bands. I really like the Germs and Darby Crash. First heard about them on the uh, Decline of the Western Civilization Part 1. But uh, some good stuff. There is some fucking trashy ass live shit, but the studio stuff they did on here, really good. Some of the songs on here from the uh, crazy movie uh, Cruising. Cruising. But uh, yeah, crazy shit. Motherfucker killed itself. Seven Seconds, who I like a lot. These are two polar opposite albums. Fast, fucking hardcore. This is when they try to go more commercial, mainstream. I like them both. And I uh, recently bought, rebought this on vinyl on the vinyl reissue. It has some uh, a cool 12, 12 inch uh, booklet with a lot of liner notes and pictures and stuff. So it's a really cool reissue. What the fuck else we got here? Never mind the Bullocks, Six Pistols, you know that shit. Minute Work, their last album. Business, really good fucking oi band. This has some pretty good tracks on here. Uh, what the fuck? All this G.G. Allen shit. I talked about all this too on another fucking video about G.G. Allen, so go fucking watch it. Fucking cop sucker. Fearless Iranians from Hell. Interesting uh, approach on this, but pretty good. The San Antonio, Texas hardcore stuff. Pretty good shit. It's on uh, Boner Records, 1990 and 1987. Good times. Bad Religion, it's okay, I'm not a huge Bad Religion fan, but some stuff's pretty good. Exploited, you know what the fuck that is. I got the other stuff on vinyl. Negative Approach, I have this on vinyl as well. But this is classic stuff, good fucking hardcore. My favorite is their uh, seven inch before this, but it's still a pretty solid fucking album. Tied fucking down, bitch. Chromax Best Wishes, most people like Age of Quarrel, Quarrel the best, but I do like this one a lot too. It has a very thrash metal sound to it. Very good. This tape here actually used to be my dad's. He first bought this when it came out and I was a kid. I didn't know, I guess this was 83 or 82. Yeah, 82 first came out and uh, this album cover I just thought looked so cool as a kid and I wanted to listen to it and I liked it but then when I went and discovered their other stuff, White Riot, the first album and give them rope, whatever the fuck it is, other stuff is way better than this but it's still, this brings back really fond memories. Dinosaur Jr. Underdog, another good uh, New York hardcore band. It's reflection on here, you can't see a goddamn thing. All the Misfits shit here, Sam Hain. Actually, Evil Live was the first uh, Misfits I got, and all this other good shit. Pretty good stuff, especially that one. Fast as fuck, brutal. All my Black Flag shit here. I have everything, either it's on cassette or CD or vinyl. This was the last thing that Black Flag ever released with Rollins on there as well. This was their swan song, so to speak. AF came back and put some other fucking weird ass album out, but that was their last one. Pretty good. This was a compilation of all their material. Cool ass live album. Uh, mandatory Damage, such a good ass fucking album. Live, good live album. This was classic two on their earlier stuff. Des Cadena, Keith Morris, Chavo Reyes. Good fucking era. I like all Black Flag. Some people are pussies and cry about certain shit. I like it fucking all. Check. Check, 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 check.
check. Okay, just making sure shit didn't fucking die. Okay, moving on. Uh, Judge, classic straight edge hardcore. Uh, bringing it down. You know this story behind this. They originally recorded this uh, original version at uh, Chunking Studios. But it sounded like shit, so they re recorded it, but they did release it on vinyl. It's called Fuck Chung King Studio or something, but uh, good stuff. I like their 7 inch as well. Best fucking suicidal tendencies right here for sure. Frontier Records, 1983. I don't know. For me, this and Join the Army are the best suicidal tendencies. They have some good albums, but these are the ones I go to. This is so fucking good. The Cramps. I first heard this band on the Return of the Living Dead soundtracks. Weird core psychobilly shit. Social distortion. Pretty good. Actually, I remember this looks kind of weathered. Most, most of my cassettes are in mint condition, but this one looks a little weathered. So I remember back then some bitch was in my car and she threw up and puke got on this, so I'm surprised it's still in this good shape. Angry Samoans. This one's good, but uh, the other stuff is way better. Good 80s punk rock shit, American punk, excellent stuff. Biohazard, this is the original one, first album on Maze Records. I like this one, I mean there is some shit like on the song uh, Wrong Side of the Tracks where they stop and start rapping, sounds like fucking garbage, but overall I like the album, I don't like anything else by them, but I still will go back and listen to this, it brings back fond memories and uh, I only saw Biohazard one time, and I think it was on the tour for the album after this. They played with Sick of It All. It was a pretty fucking good show. The whole crowd got on the stage and tore the whole place up. I wish there was a video of that. Offspring, before they got real popular, this was, uh, what was it, Ign Epitaph Records. I went to go see them on this tour. It was ironic. It was them, Bad Religion, and Green Day were opening up before they became fucking huge. Good ass motherfucking times. This here is a piece of fucking shit. I, I, I did buy this. I don't know fucking why. I hate this fucking band. And especially that fat slob singer. Yeah, I am not into this shit. I could break this motherfucker in half. Some waste of goddamn money. Good ass skate rock, doggy style. You ever heard that? Go check it out, man. I like skate rock. Bold, Revelation Records, Hardcore. As you can see, I was a big fan of Hardcore, and I still am, at least old Hardcore. This was probably Madball's best before they started getting into that hip-hop shit. Started putting rap and all this fucking garbage, but this is a good, solid-ass album right here. Live Ramones album, you know who they are. GBH, classic shit. All these are good. I saw them a few times too. Good fucking charged punk rock, British punk rock. MDC, Millions of Dead Cops, just when here's Millions of Dead Christians. It's okay. The Vandals. Probably the best one, obviously, Peace Through Vandalism. Live album's good. These other two are kind of fucking weird. But I still like to listen to them just because it reminds me of back then. Social Spit. I don't know whatever fucking happened to this band. <laughs> no. Total Chaos. They're still around as well. It's okay. Warzone. New York City Hardcore. I, I, I like it uh, that Ray B's vocals are kind of annoying, but overall pretty fucking good. This was the first album I bought by them. This is 1988. Pretty good shit. Luna Chicks, girl punk rock band, pretty good. The yeah, Addicts. I have some uh, CDs by them as well. Good British, uh, poppy, oi sounding punk. They all dress up like these mimes, clown mimes. They have a certain look. And they still are playing. I saw them probably about 10 years ago, and uh, they were still sounded good. Old fucks with all this makeup and shit on. 
Beowulf, you know this from fucking California, they were on the uh, Welcome to Venice Beach uh, old compilation of Suicidal Tendencies, No Mercy, uh, Excel, I think. This is good, good fucking album on Caroline Records. What year did this come out? 1988. I still like this band a lot. Oh, and look at this shit. I mean, it's a good album. I mean, this is before they got signed and made it big. I still remember when I saw their first video on MTV, I just couldn't believe that they were on there and got big like that. But anyway, this is still pretty fucking good. So uh, anyway, man, I'm gonna go fucking meet all right that's uh uh, more cassettes so uh hope you like that shit more fucking videos are on the way another again i broke these cassette collections up into different episodes because again who the fuck is gonna watch a 45 minute video of some motherfucker just looking at tapes so that's why it's broken up there's some more shit coming in the uh down the road. Actually, what the fuck is next? I, I see, I, I may sound like an ignorant motherfucker, but I actually do, you know, write shit down and get ideas. I don't, I'm just not just screaming random shit. But uh, what the fuck is going on? Uh, we some other titles coming up. Uh, one I plan on doing is about war metal, and uh, I think No Remorse Productions. You watch the channel, make comments, so thanks a lot. But you requested this one uh, video about war metal. I want to do one about best metal documentaries. Uh, one about the Swedish Big Four. And that's typical shit, but you know, fuck it, it's a popular to- topic, so cocksuckers will watch that shit. Uh, ten of my favorite thrash albums. Again, not the best ones of all time, just some random ones I like. Ten of the best hardcore albums. Kind of the same thing like I did the other videos of the fucking uh, de- best death metal or no, random death metal albums, random fucking de- black metal, whatever the fuck. Um, what the fuck else? Uh, what about independent record stores? I know I just recently did one about uh, the Gate Records, record store label. So there's a lot of fucking independent record stores, man. That's the lifeline of this fucking scene. Uh, what the fuck else? Uh, hell, I don't know. I got a bunch of shit written down, but fuck it, man. Got some shit coming out. Anyway, I'm gonna go in there and fucking hang myself. I got a fucking rope in there, so, uh, I'll see you in hell.